good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys. This freaking light's not on. What the hell is that? Hold up. This freaking bracket in the wall's pissing me the hell off, Brad. I plug it in, and then it just doesn't decide to... Wipe. Maybe this plugs out? Like, what the, what the hell? What the blue hell's going on with this lamp? Is it... I didn't even turn it on! You're so stupid, you stupid! Alright guys, so today we have some brand new WWE action figure customs as well as some other things that I picked up as well as a brand new WWE figure announcement. So you guys can see in the middle of your screen, we finally got our Leo Rush. It's not 100% completed, but it is, uh, it's, it's pretty much done. I mean, we got, we got some things going on with it. You guys can see we got the BEW Mad Reaper head sculpt. I think I'm probably gonna repaint the eyes or like make the eyes a little bit bigger. It doesn't look like bad by any means, but uh, I don't know. I just felt like it could be a little bit better. I thought about adding a little bit more detail to the face, but I like the way the hair came out. You know, it looks all right. Maybe the eyebrows could be a little bit better repainted or something. He's got the goatee on there. He's got the hair on there. The neck's a little bit long, but from far away, I mean, it looks, I think it works. You know, it definitely works. Here he is up next to John Cena. I think the height is pretty good. I, I can't remember how tall Leo Rush is. I want to say he's like 5'7", maybe, maybe an inch shorter or so, but there he is up next to John Cena, who's 5'11", or six foot. So, I mean, I think it works out pretty John Brown good. As far as the height is concerned, you guys will also notice, I think he's supposed to have a barcode on the back, but I wasn't going to acetone the torso. Didn't want to melt the torso. So, since I didn't want to melt the torso, I'm just going to leave this tattoo here. I don't think it's a big deal. It's like a cross with wings. It kind of seems like something he would get compared to the rest of his tattoos, but up here on the torso, we got all of his tattoos. He's got the sternum tat. He's got his stomach tats. He's got the eyes on his shoulders or right there at his deltoid muscles. You got the chest tattoo. You have his angel wing tattoo over here. You got the rest of his stuff going down. The future is in your hands. Uh, down here, it gets a little bit messy. I didn't add the little dragon scales up under here because the peg's right there, and it would have been really messy to get that on there. So I just went with the armband down here. I'm going to either, I don't know if I want to paint that full black or if I want to add a white stripe to it, maybe. I'm not exactly sure what I want to do there, but he does have the Sin Cara slash uh, Kalisto hands. I think these are Sin Cara hands, but the Rey Mysterio white sleeve looks good. This is actually a Kalisto figure. It's a Kalisto Elite 48. Maybe Elite 42. I think it's Elite 42 Kalisto. And then all I did was switch out the arm with a Rey Mysterio basic. Acetone off the Rey logos. Put on the custom head sculpt from BEW. Then I put some Drake Maverick legs onto a Kalisto crotch piece that I acetoned off all the red. There's a little spot of red right there. Not the biggest issue. But then I put the Drake Maverick legs on here. Painted over the 24-7 logo here. I'm going to put an LR or, or something. Man of the Hour or something. Thought about putting Man of the Hour on the butt like the, you know, the Moth logo. And then you just have the white there. No knee pads. I don't think he really needs knee pads. I put the white kick pads from my white Leo Rush custom that I made way back in the day. And this is such an upgrade to that figure. Like, oh my god. It's like so crazy how much better this looks. Um, and what's crazy is uh, crazy enough is the first figure that I made was a collab between me, me and BEW. And this is pretty much a collab between me and BEW. So now it is, uh, We, you guys can just both see how far we have come in our custom customizing journey. I think we've definitely improved him more than me, I'm sure. But there is BEW in our Leo Rush figure. I like this a lot. Leo Rush was one of my favorite wrestlers. Definitely, he was my favorite independent talent for a long time before he came to WWE. When he signed with WWE, I was super hyped. You guys know what happened. He went to NXT. He was okay. Got caught up with Bobby Lashley. That was eh. He was good in his role, but that was kind of eh. Won the Cruiserweight title, was here and there, great. And then he just left the company. I think he had some like backstage heat or something, but I have always been a fan of Leo Rush. And so I'm very happy to have a better figure of him in the collection. And who knows, he may show up in the pick fed we'll freaking see my damn nation has a nice card we'll have to see if he can fit himself in there between now and then but there is our leo rush figure i think it turned out great now the rest of it i was actually up to like 3 30 a.m working on that leo rush i thought i had enough time to get my luchasaurus completed but i could not figure out the formula again i'm still struggling with the damn formula man i thought i figured it out you guys know i had the bobby Roode torso i decided f that torso we're doing something different and now i'm struggling to come up with what i want to do we have the triple h torso Torso, which could also work and uh, you know that is what it is I kind of like this torso for Luchasaurus but I got to find the legs I want to use I thought about putting the cane legs on there from this Elite 22 figure but then I was like ah, I don't know I feel like it's going to make him too tall possibly Luchasaurus is around 6'5 or so I was going to use this cane back here I put the John Cena Elite arms on here because a lot of people use this torso but I feel like this torso is a little bit too pale for Luchasaurus I feel like Luchasaurus is probably Triple H's skin tone over this and I don't like how this head sits 
on this neck, and you guys can see what you think about this. Like, does that not look too big? I don't know. I don't know if I'm feeling that. It just looks a bit off to me. I'm not really feeling that, so I don't know. I, I don't freaking know. I could just use this, put the little wrap on there, paint up the arms, put all the tattoos on there, but his skin tone's a little light, in my opinion, and I'll have to find some, I don't know, some different boots or whatever the hell to put on this guy. I don't I don't know, man. I'm just, I, I'm just sick of it. I just want my Luchasaurus to be completed, and if we were doing the height comparison, here he is. That's way too, this is like Kane slash Undertaker height, simply because it's an Undertaker, or it's not an Undertaker, you dumb jackass. This is a Kane Elite, obviously, so that is why he is so tall, but I don't like how that head sits on that neck, and again, the skin tone looks a bit off. I like this torso for Luchasaurus, but I also like this one as well. I think you could use either or. He is absolutely jacked, but that is uh, what, I'm, what I'm working with right now. Still working on the Luchasaurus, still working on that formula, but also I wanted to talk about some pickups that I got. So the other day, I picked up my second Decade of Domination John Cena figure. This is what arrived from Walmart yesterday. I actually forgot I even had the pre-order. I thought, this, this is a PSA. Don't ever, ever, ever pre-order anything from Target or Walmart regarding WWE figures or any figures at all because they're going to be, you're going to find them at retail before you freaking see them in your, in, in, on your freaking doorstep. You understand? If you order something from Walmart, it took forever for my Legends to arrive from Target. It took forever for my AEW figures to arrive. It took forever for my Decade figures. I'm still waiting on the rest of that order. This is the only one that came in. I'm still waiting on those. And so, uh, yeah, man, just don't do it. Got it? Okay, good. Good. So there you go. Don't. But this came in. I put the arms on that Luchasaurus that I'm trying to work on. I mean, this figure is what it is. I'll probably make a fix up again because this figure was such a freaking. It was just disgustingly not good. I, I don't know, man. That decade of domination, Cena. Just what it could have been and what it should have been wasn't good. And then this was the gym of the week for the pickups. Okay, so Saturday my brother strolls in. He's like, Hey, Brad. I went to the consignment shop. They had this elite Dean Ambrose. You know how much he paid for this elite former AEW champion John Moxley. Dean Dean Ambrose Elite Figure, Elite 36, in pristine condition. Like, the condition is superb. The t the joints are tight. No paint, no loosey goosey bullshit going on. This guy was one single dollar. He got this figure for a dollar. They didn't have any other figures, unfortunately. He probably would have bought all of them if they had, but shout out to Brad or Taylor for that, because he is a beast for that. Picking up the Dean Ambrose Elite going in the collection. I bet I don't even know how much this figure goes for, but I damn know sure for, for 100% skip that that ish right there would have been probably 25 plus probably on eBay. And even if it was $10, you got to pay for the shipping and you got to wait for it to get there. $1 in person? Sign me up every freaking time, Brad. But last but not least, before we get out of here, guys, we have a brand new WWE figure announcement, a confirmed elite by Showcase Collector, and it is a new Ruthless Aggression early 2000s, 2002 version of John Cena. So you guys know that we got this Toys R Us figure. Well, we are now getting the same figure, but in blue and orange. And I'm hoping to God that they give us a brand new head sculpt. Maybe that'll give us some new John Cena's that we can fix up and stuff. But I'm guessing it'll be this exact same formula. Um, maybe a new head sculpt, but it's going to be the orange and blue gear. I can't remember if he wore that orange and blue gear in the Firefly Funhouse matchup with Bray Wyatt at WrestleMania. But at the same time, um, I'm a big John Cena guy. You guys know I love John Cena. I collect his figures. I have near 100 elite John Cena figures. So uh, adding that to the John Cena collection will be absolutely amazing. Even the... <coughs> Even though uh, his last few figures have kind of been wonky, except for the Ultimate Edition, this is still going to be nice to plug in there. And a huge shout-out to Showcase Collector. And you can say, well, how do we know that's accurate? Well, Showcase Collector has been absolutely perfect on all his predictions. Anytime he's ever predicted something, it's always been 95% correct. He'll miss out on an accessory here and there. He'll miss out on, like, a few details here and there. But uh, this figure is coming. This figure is definitely coming. I don't know what exact set it is. It may be on the screen. It may provide more info on the post. And I'll, I'll plug that in if, if so. But we are getting a 2002 John Cena. And it just it's another Ruthless Aggression figure, which is beautiful. I love Ruthless. We need every Ruthless Aggression figure, man. I actually have a video idea for tomorrow, which is going to be really, really sick. So stay tuned for that. So stay tuned for that, guys. It's going to be absolutely bonkers. Should be fun. And we're going to find out some stats that I've been actually looking out for. So I think that is going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you think of all of that down in the comment section below. I would really, really appreciate it. What do you think of the new John Cena? Let me know your thoughts 
thoughts on this Leo Rush? How could I improve it? All that good jazz. Luchasaurus and all that. I know we've talked about Luchasaurus a few times, but since I got rid of my other one, I gotta make an updated one. That's actually the step that's holding back MDT Live from getting finished. I'm missing a segment with Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy, and I can't do the Luchasaurus part without the Luchasaurus, so I gotta have the Luchasaurus. So, there you go, but, uh... Hey guys, this is Editing Trey here, and I just wanted to get on here to give our comment shout out because I forgot like a dumb jackass, but this shit made me cackle right here. Logan Pone says, imagine a real person at the front desk saying, Swaggerty Swiggin Spiffy is here for his appointment. That shit got me dying, so I had to plug this in. Shout out to Logan for that. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.